All right, guys, this is a supplementation for Dr. Heather's Daytona State College um, a, a lab regarding the midterm review going over just the blood vessels. So when we talk about our blood vessels, they have three linings. The innermost lining of our blood vessels is called tunica intima. The middle is tunica media, and the outside is tunica external. External sometimes called tunica adventitia. Tunica intima is sometimes called tunica internal. So when we talked about the blood vessels, arteries have a thicker smooth muscle within tunica media, so arteries are stronger than veins, and veins sometimes have one-way valves that prevent the backflow of blood due to gravity. So we have venous veins, we don't have venous arteries from the class of valves. An artery typically goes away from the heart, and a vein typically goes back to the heart. Okay? Arteries typically carry oxygenated blood, red blood, and veins typically carry deoxygenated blood or blue blood. The exception for this, one of the exceptions, is going to be your pulmonary circuit. Because leaving the right, ventri the, uh, right ventricle would be your pulmonary trunk via the pulmonary arteries to the lungs. They contain deoxygenated blood, but they're still arteries because they are going away from the heart. So with saying being said, your pulmonary veins returning from the heart are veins, but they just came from the lungs. They have the best, richest oxygen of them all going into the right atrium. So when we talk about our arteries, let's look at the road map. Going up out of the ACE and aorta, what are the two arteries coming off the ACE and aorta? The right and the left, coronary arteries. Good, they feed the heart. The heart takes its blood first. So then we have the arch of the aorta. And remember on the cat, they had two branches off their arch of the aorta. Humans have three. So what's the first branch in the humans off the arch of the aorta? Brachiocephalic trunk, which goes to the right side of the head and the right upper extremities. The second branch of the arch of the aorta would be the left common carotid. So what's the third branch off the arch of the aorta in the humans? Left subclavian, below the clavicle, and that becomes subclavian, becomes axillary, becomes brachial, becomes radial artery, and the ulnar arteries. Good. So from there, when we go down the descending thoracic aorta, going behind the ribs posteriorly, branching, reaching anteriorly, we have the posterior intercostal arteries going to the ribs. So from there, we go below the diaphragm, and we have two types of arteries of the abdominal pelvic cavity. We have lateral branches going laterally, and we have anterior branches going anteriorly. So our lateral branches are going to be our paired organs. They're going to be adrenal, renal, lumbar, and gonadal. If we're male, it's going to be the testicular, and it's going to go down beside the bladder, on both right and left side of the bladder. If you're a female, it's going to go laterally, and it's going to be the ovarian artery. And if we're a cat, their ovaries are underneath their kidneys. And if we're a female human, we're inside the pelvic cavity. Good. And from there, we have the anterior branches. So the anterior branches go anteriorly to our anterior major organs. The first one, the celiac trunk, divides into three branches. The three branches of the celiac trunk are going to be the splenic, the left gastric, and the common hepatic, with the right gastric coming off the common hepatic artery. Next, we have what feeds the mesentery, the flower, the double fold of serous membrane that takes the arteries and veins to the small and large intestines. So we have the superior and the inferior mesenteric arteries going anteriorly. And from there, the abdominal aorta bifurcates into what? the right and left common iliac arteries. Get used to saying right and left and whether it's an artery or a vein. If we say identify the vessel, right common iliac artery. If we say name the artery, right common iliac. So if it says name the vessel in the practical, tell me if it's an artery or a vein. So again, the internal iliac arteries stay inside the pelvis. The external iliac arteries exits out the femoral triangle underneath the inguinal ligament and become the femoral artery. The femoral at the area of the kneecap comes the popliteal artery, and then divides into your anterior and posterior tibial, medially, and the fibular artery. That's all the arteries we have to know for the practical. So let's take us back. We have the same exact formula for the veins. Anterior and posterior tibial veins, fibular vein or peroneal vein, popliteal vein, femoral vein. The only difference is we have more veins in our body than arteries. So on our inner thigh, dumping into the femoral veins, we have the great saphenous vein. We also have a lesser saphenous vein of our leg, but we won't talk about that one. From there, the right femoral vein enters the pelvis as what? The right external 
iliac vein. It joins with the internal iliac vein on the right and becomes the right common iliac veins. And the two common iliac veins come together and form your what? Major vein. Inferior vena cava. And for, therefore, the inferior vena cava goes all the way up into the heart, into the right atrium. Going laterally, the veins on the right follow the same formula as the veins on the arteries on the right. So we have a right adrenal vein, a right renal vein, a right lumbar vein, and a right gonadal vein, and they all dump into the inferior vena cava. However, the left side is special. It likes what on the left side? What main vein do your lateral veins dump into? The left renal vein. So the left adrenal dumps into the left renal. The left gonadal dumps into the left renal. Some of your left lumbar is dumped into the left renal before it enters the inferior vena cava. Same thing with the hand. The hand is very similar to the arteries. We have a radial and ulnar vein, a brachial vein. We have an axillary vein. We have a subclavian vein. But we also have a cephalic and a basalic veins, which are in addition to uh, the great saphenous as extra veins, more veins than arteries. The right subclavian vein comes together with the external jugular vein, the vertebral vein, the internal jugular vein, and they come together and form what two veins on the right and left side before it becomes a superior vena cava? The brachiocephalic veins. So the right and left brachiocephalic veins come together from the subclavian joining with the two jugulars along with the vertebral veins and again the vertebral veins come off the or the vertebral arteries come off the subclavian and the vertebral arteries going to the brain at the base of the skull becoming the basilar artery joins with your internal carotids which come off your common carotids and they form the blood supply feeding the anastomosis of the circle of willis around the pituitary gland. And that's it. Thank you.